DJ Lab. Hey, it's Jay again, just at the DJ Lab studio. Um, for this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you all about beat matching. So, what is beat matching? It is the act of synchronizing two tracks together so they sound nice and seamless. And as a DJ, that is how we make our set flow, right? So we transition from track A to track B. If we can't do that smoothly, it doesn't matter how good our tracks are, it's never ever going to sound right. So, beat matching. Now the first concept that I need to introduce to you is the fact that when we beat match, both tracks need to be at the exact same BPM. Otherwise, one will be going faster than the other, and all of a sudden, they're unsynchronized. You can think of it like two people in a running race. You know, you've got a running race, but you don't want anyone to win. If one person gets in front of the other, you know, you might have to speed this one up. Or you might have to slow this guy down to actually become synchronized and align again. All right, so I'm going to press play on this track here. Okay. Now I've got this other track ready to go. You can see that this one is on 123 BPM. This one is on 125. That means that this track is actually faster than this one. This one's going to be running further ahead. And play. At the moment it's synchronized, but you can see it very quickly it just went out, right? Now that's that's just from having the BPM two apart. So that's going to show you that you need to be exactly the same. Now if I readjust this, and I made this 123 BPM, let's go back to the start of this one. For the purpose of this little tutorial, I'm going to keep it nice and simple. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, play. Okay. So it's beat matched pretty well, and now I don't need to touch it. It'll just stay in. Why? Because they are at the exact same BPM. Both tracks go at the same speed. Now, how to beat match if, if it's out? So, say this track, is a little bit out of sync, we started a bit off, and, and as a beginner that will always happen to you. This here, this is called a wheel. So, what this does, is it, it allows you to temporarily speed up or slow down the music on that particular CDJ. So, if I now go this way, which you can see a minus there, So you can hear it pitch down, it temporarily slows the track down, right? Or if we go this way, clockwise, it'll temporarily speed the track up. Now this is really handy because if one track starts further ahead or behind the other one, we can simply speed it up or slow it down and get them back in sync. Now the process of that, it's actually quite easy. So I'll just show you. Okay, I'll make that a little worse. Okay, so at the moment that's completely unsynchronized. That's something you always want to avoid as a DJ. And of course, this will be something you'll do on your headphones before you bring it in. You know, when you're playing um, to a crowd. So basically, what we do is we give this a spin one way and we see if it gets better or worse. More synchronized or less synchronized. I've given it one spin and I've listened, it sounds less synchronized. So that means we need to go back this direction. Oh, that sounds a lot better, but it's not quite there, it's almost. Give it one more spin. There we go, so now it's completely beat matched. All right, so that's a, a good little taste test uh, into beat matching. Now these exact same, this exact same technique can be applied to any kind of music anything that's got a, a, a bit going. Um, thank you for checking out this video. Um, in the next one, we're gonna be covering the steps of how to actually mix. We'll be using a beat matching, phrasing, 
and all of the knowledge that we've, or all of the basic knowledge that we've learnt about our CDJs and Mixer. Um, if you're interested in more great content, please subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description. And again, I will see you in the next video.